Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Ignite Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Ignite are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk about a common term that you'll find on the MSDS sheet, Darren, the Material Safety Data Sheet for every pesticide in the United States, and this term is LD50. You kind of laugh about the MSDS sheet, Brian, and you know what, honestly, that's an important thing. There's a lot of good information on there. One of them is what is the actual safety of this pesticide and where is there going to be a concern? Is it a dermal type concern where if it gets on your skin it's a problem? Is it an oral concern or if it gets in your mouth or you know whatever the case may be. Now when we look at LD50 what that means is lethal dose 50%. So it's the lethal dose to kill 50% of a population. Now Technically, they do this research on rats, not on humans, but based on the research done on rats, for example, we get an LD50. Yep, and what this is measured in is milligrams per kilogram of body weight. So basically, it's how many milligrams would you have to have per kilogram of your body weight to kill you. Well, that's that's an interesting thing, and there are a lot of different products out there. For example, uh, atrazine. We hear a lot of concern about atrazine, and the EPA is reviewing it again and again and again because atrazine has potential to leach. Now, if it happened to leach and get into some water, well, people would be a little bit concerned. Is this dangerous for me? By leaching, about, what leaching is, that means it can move down through the soil profile and end up in groundwater. So people get concerned about atrazine, but did you know that the LD50 for atrazine is about 3,000, and the LD50 for cat Caffeine is only 200. So in other words, it would take 15 times more atrazine to kill you than it would caffeine. Seriously. Well, <laughs> you know, that's something interesting. I guess if I saw there's caffeine in my water, I might be more encouraged to drink it because I want the caffeine, uh, but, but not necessarily the atrazine. But, but here's the whole thing. The dose always makes the poison. So do you think of caffeine as this really harmful thing? Well, no, but that's only because you're taking a tiny amount well, hopefully you're only taking a tiny amount every day. Okay, so it's the same deal with atrazine. If you're only taking a tiny amount, now don't get me wrong, we're not suggesting that you do that, but yes, when you look at the numbers, it takes 15 times more atrazine to kill you than it does caffeine. Well, when you think about LD50, I don't just think about herbicides. I think about everything in my house. I think about the cleaning products that we use. I think about the fuel that goes into my vehicles. You have to keep in mind all those things as you're going along. Now, most of the general public will say, wow, herbicides and pesticides farmers are using, they have to be about the most dangerous thing out there. But honestly, there's a lot of things that are probably in your house. Maybe it's an air freshener, maybe it's a toilet bowl cleaner, or maybe it's the fuel that goes in your lawnmower or your car that's more dangerous than a lot of the pesticides we're using for weed or insect control. Well, once again, one of the ways that they measure how dangerous a product is, is with LD50, that stands for lethal dose 50%. That's good information, Brian, but it doesn't tell us what it takes to kill a weed. We'll show you how to control this tough wheat later in the show.